In order to find Angel Share, you have to find a Village Yokojo sign, which is lit up in red neon. Go upstairs to the second floor. You are in an izakaya, which is a Japanese-style pub restaurant. Very vibrant, there are lanterns everywhere. And you feel like you're in Japan, and to your left-hand side, there's an unnamed wooden door, and that is the entrance of Angel Share. My father opened Angel Share in 1993. He's originally from Yokohama. I definitely think he missed his old spots and that is the reason why he wanted to open his own Japanese style bar in New York City. There really wasn't a Japanese style bar. A lot of the cocktail making was very much so from the movie Cocktail with Tom Cruise. People were not really using jiggers, not precise in the cocktail making, not making their juices or syrups and bitters. All of this, he was able to go back to his experience drinking cocktails in Japan and uh, decided to open Angel Share. It was very slow at the beginning. I would say that it was still a little bit foreign. The rules were made by my father. I believe that those really did reflect back to Japanese style of drinking. When you go to a cocktail bar in Japan, there's limited number of seatings, there's no standing. Uh, usually you would see a lot of individuals going there to sit at the bar counter and it really is more of a ceremonial experience as well. The bartender would make a cocktail one at a time per guest, never make multiple drinks at the same time because he wanted to make sure that he was concentrating on that specific individual. Japanese cocktail culture is like very strict. It's like focus on like very like specific, like classic cocktail. For example, I trained just only martini for three years. My mentor say, oh, this is no martini, this is no martini, this is no martini. Every single time, uh, every single night I pra practice. And so finally I got, okay, okay martini after three years. So Japanese bartending is like we are focused on one cocktail. Basically, I practice like throwing. The shaking. Staring. Like new bartenders always like make a sound, you know. Like, even like, you know, people like that, people like that. But you know, I don't make a sound. So Japanese way to make stir so you can make sounds, you cannot. So about like air, yeah, if you make sound, that means like you make bubble. Stay very well, gently. Give me a grape, enjoy. A Japanese way to make like, you know, shaking. If you wanna shake, so you need to put a lot of air inside the cocktail. We don't need really to use a muscle. We, we are not like, you know, the muscle, like kind of like, you know, hard in shake or something like that, this kind of shake. It's more like, you know, it's very important part is flexible. It's very, very flexible, right? And snap. Hard shake. hasn't really evolved much. I think that's why it's amazing how a traditional way of cocktail making has just been, you know, keeping tradition and making cocktails the way it has been. That really does tie in with other parts of Japanese culture, whether it be the tea ceremony, a sushi chef preparing a omakase sushi in front of the guest. I, I see the cocktail making in Japan um, the way it has been for a very long time.